Joining us now, best-selling author Mark Stein, who's been following this as carefully as anybody. Mark, are you struck by how little we know about motive? I mean, we know a lot about the firearms and the Tannerite and all the rest, the girlfriend, but why would someone who fits this profile or any profile do something like this? It doesn't seem like we know anything about that. No, and as you said at the top of the show, Tucker, that's why in the vacuum, uh, various uh, conspiracy theories are starting to arise. Uh, there are reports that the video uh, found in the room points in a certain direction. Uh, the London uh, papers are already reporting uh, that that uh, piece of yellow paper in the room, if not a suicide note, has some significance in the case. And indeed, what was fascinating, I thought, about the sheriff's press conference uh, is his choice of this phrase, quote, secret life, unquote, which is not quite the same as saying things, uh, that there are lots of things we don't know. Right. He seems to be suggesting that there is uh, this life that this guy was leading that is different from his life as a retired accountant and professional ga gambler. As I think you noted uh, a day or two ago too, Tucker, it's actually very unusual in this day and age for a man to have as blank a profile on the internet as this guy has. If he were, for example, a CIA or MI6 agent, they would plant the rudiments of a social media profile out That's there right. on the internet just so that it didn't look weirdly blank, whereas this guy's profile looks weirdly blank. And I thought the other point the sheriff raised that was interesting was he tiptoed very close uh, up to the point of uh, saying that as far as he was concerned, this guy had to have had an accomplice. I mean, this thing was very well organized, very well planned, uh, right down to requesting and securing the exact hotel room that he wanted, which is actually quite a tricky thing to do in Las Vegas. And uh, from that point of view, the sheriff seemed to be saying that he couldn't, uh, f that, that uh, Occam's razor would suggest this guy had to have someone out there helping him, plus the fact that he intended to escape. In other words, the, the, the stuff we were talking about just a couple of days ago, when, when non-Islamic terrorism happens, that some guy just snaps and guns down his high school or guns down a shopping mall, this isn't that. There's something more to it going on. Which, which even makes the motive for it more confusing. If he had no political right. or religious agenda, why do something like this? Very, very uh, striking. Really quickly. There, the uh, briefers today said that there was no indication of severe mental illness, but we do know that he was prescribed psychotropic drugs. An actress called Kirstie Alley raised this specter, was denounced as a wacko Scientologist. Is it so crazy, though, to wonder if people's behavior isn't affected by the drugs they take? Is that a crazy thing to ask? Well, I think, I think that's true. What I find slightly difficult to accept in this case, Tucker, is that a drug could have that effect on him, but uh, not be, uh, impact his ability to function at a very high level. Right. Uh, and point. the fact that his, the, his girlfriend uh, did not notice any uh, change in him. I mean, what, what might be more relevant is that this guy is a professional gambler. In other words, bluffing is what he does with his life. And there have been reports uh, out there that various doctors and so forth have, con uh, have conducted that compulsive gamblers, uh, in that sense, uh, are expert at uh, concealment and covering up and all the rest of it. And that actually, be, because the, the efficiency uh, with which he, he planned this and carried it out is not consistent with someone uh, who's just gone a little screwy because some drugs have had a side effect no, that, go wacky that's, on that's him. That's exactly right. This was clear. But, but to what end is the question? Of course, we don't know. Mark Stein, right. thank you for all that. Thanks a lot, Tucker.